All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new episode of the vlog. As you can see, we're treating ourselves or treating our car. Shout out to Shmeez. We got Shmeez here with me. It is a day in the life. Gonna pick up a parking lot deal. I've done a, a, many deals with this guy before. I'm going to his work, pick up some cards. We agreed on the numbers last night. Hit up Shmeez. I was like, man, let's go record some content. So we're gonna go do that, get a car wash, ship some cards, and then, uh, well, yeah, that's it, man. That's it. Uh, let's get into today's video. Having a clean car and going to a deal. You look good, you feel good, you do good. You know what I'm saying? You look good, you feel good, you do good. Who'd you want to win? You want Aljo to win or you wanted O'Malley to win? I wanted Aljo. You want Aljo, really? Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't think I didn't peg you as the Aljo guy. But I like how how graciously he took his defeat. But uh, the crazy thing about O'Malley, I watched a lot of UFC pay-per-views and I realized that right after the pay-per-view, his fight was available to be watched for free. They never do that. They usually wait until his next fight to make that fight uh, available to watch for free. So it seems to me like they're really trying to push O'Malley because they're letting you watch his knockout for free. And then it was like the sugar, the sugar Timex like replay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was like, damn, that's crazy. They're really trying to push this guy. The day before the fight, somebody messaged me and said like, yo, you want to buy all my Sugar Sean O'Malley cards? Like, cause I want I want to sell it before the fight. I'm like, what? I don't want to, uh, cause I'm, I'm not a gambler like that. It's like, I don't want to do that. And now I wish I did. But again, if you would have lost, like if you would have lost bad, those card prices aren't going anywhere. But now I wish I bought that collection, the Texas guy. All right, we just pulled up to my friend's uh, work. I've done a, uh, what's funny is I've done like four deals with him at his, at this parking lot. So he happens to work here. So I kind of know my way around, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him a message right now. All right, wait for him to pull up. So this is actually kind of exciting. We're picking up, um, I mean, I'll buy anything, but uh, he's always got some, some good price for me. He knows I buy everything uh, and we always agree on a price. So I'm picking up some Japanese Pokemon. I've been told that Japanese Pokemon is very popping right now. So we got that and we got a nice Pele Auto thrown into the deal. So it's about a $2,000 deal, $2,500 deal, and then uh, worth $2,500 worth of cards. And uh, it's, I think it's like seven or eight cards. So we'll see when he pulls up. You guys probably can't tell by the camera, but it's like 95 degrees here in the Bay Area. I'm not built for this type of weather. This is a day in the life, man. Just driving from place to place, dropping off packages, picking up cards, getting a car wash, picking up schmees. It's exciting. It's hard living a rock and roll lifestyle. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? I don't know, I just, I my boss no, 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 it's all good. It's all good. I'm trying to buy a little bit more right now. Okay. Like, um, I have some like more slabs at home too. Sla I'll, slabs. Like, over them, but I just haven't had time like to go over everything. I just got this water bag. So okay. Like, yeah, let me know. I'm down. I'm also gonna down to buy some raw stuff. Not the base stuff, but yeah. like things like five dollars to like twenty dollars. Okay, I'm down sure. to buy those like the hundreds, thousands. Okay, for sure. Um, I actually then... have some of those too. Like, um, I'll, I'll go through them too. Okay. Look at these. It should be like eight cards, right? Yep. Eight slabs and then. And in the Pele, cool. All good, man. Thank well, you so much. Sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be in touch. touch. Yeah. yeah, sir. Well, yeah, be good, man. So this is the big one that I'm excited about right here. I mean, it actually, it's not the biggest one, but it's a Pele Auto. As you can see, it was later in his ears, and it's Leaf, but it is Pele. And then uh, some Japanese Pokemon. And maybe you guys can tell me, but one of these is actually worth like a thousand dollars, maybe twelve hundred dollars. I don't know which one. I gotta do my research. Some of these are about two hundred. Some of these are about three hundred. I think, uh, yeah, they're in like 200 to 300 range. One of these is worth a thousand. I don't know which one is it is exa exactly, but that's terrible knowledge to give you, but I trust my guy and uh, I know that it's all here. Um, so yeah, actually what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, uh, stop by a card shop on the way home, A, just to film some content, but B, there are, they are well known for Pokemon and they do have some sports cards there. Maybe we could just see what their stock is, maybe make a trade. And uh, or just you know just just film some stuff, man. And Shmi's never been there before. Maybe we can uh, we can see what it looked like. All right, so we just got to the shop. We're gonna try to see if we could trade some of this stuff, maybe for some sports cards, or just make some nice trades. See if they like the thousand dollar, twelve hundred dollar Pokemon card that I got. It's this one right here. We did some research. It's the Mewtwo. Shmi's asked me on the way in, would I rather sell Pokemon cards or would I rather sell sports cards? I do have some folks here in the Bay Area that started off at, in sports cards and now they have fully moved into Pokemon because they say that it's a lot easier for them. Uh, it's more liquid, there's always a buyer. So 
for me, I just get more excited about sports cars right now, but not to say that I won't get excited about this stuff. But as with all things, it takes education. So I gotta learn. I gotta learn the ins and outs of this before I like go heavy into it, you know what I mean? Um, just to know what I'm getting into. But again, at the end of the day, this is all just a math game, right? So if you can research this stuff, you type this on, on eBay, if you see what it's going for and what it's consistently selling for, then you know what you can and should pay for it. So long, long answer to your question, sports cards, but I wanna learn Pokemon. They ain't a life, baby. Also, there's, there's traffic. I don't wanna drive through traffic. Let's just go look at some cards. What's up, brother? You've been here before, first time, huh? First time. It's nice. It's the first time I've been here, and nobody's in here. Everyone's in school. How's life? Uh, you know, I'm looking for stuff 500 and up. Yeah, you got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. You guys going to Burbank? Yeah, we got a couple tables. Nice. Yeah, There's stuff in general, like, uh, I don't know. The Pokemon stuff is, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to move. Yeah. You talked about that. You you mentioned to me that you wanted to open this spot originally as a sports card spot. I mean that's how we started, but you couldn't you couldn't avoid the Pokemon. I mean it's it's the moves, you know what I mean? See? Couldn't avoid the Pokemon stuff, you gotta turn into it. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta do what people like. Yeah. That's why they're successful. I guess the top row is a good place to start, the top and middle row. I have you know, I took a break. I took a break. Yeah, I was going like every day and I was like, this is tiring, bro. It is it's like it's like twice the amount of work than selling singles. Oh, shipping, huh? Sorting and shipping, yeah, and I was like, I can't. Bro. I know, yeah. Look at this, I didn't even notice this. This is dope. This is like stuff you find in a flea market right here. Like the old school Atari. Stuff that you learn your desk. Yeah, that's actually pretty tight to have it as desk desk. Uh, and like the, the Super Nintendo games. That's pretty wild. But yeah, man. Excited bro. We'll talk we'll talk more. Yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk more. We'll see you guys. So that was it here at the spot. Couldn't come to a deal, but it always doesn't hurt to ask, and we were on the way home anyways. So they do got a good amount of inventory in there, but they brought up a good point. We're going to be in Burbank in a couple weeks, so we're all trying to come with inventory. We're all trying to come with cash, so it kind of doesn't make sense for us to do a deal right now when we're going to have the whole, the whole world at our tables in about two weeks, you know what I'm saying? So, But with that being said, man, that's a quick day in the life. Shout out to Shmees. Another day in the life. We're shipping packages. We're moving packages. We've got to get home to a stream. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.